ready for this? Okay, uh, I just want to let you guys know, I'm, I'm a pretty big order. Yeah, okay. I'm going to need 80 chicken McNuggets, please. As I near my 50,000 subscriber mark, if this video gets 2,000 likes at 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to be attempting the unthinkable, the 50,000 calorie challenge. <sighs> Time to check and see how many likes. Shit. Alrighty guys, what's going on? Uh, I just got back from my ride. No climbing today. I strictly went to the beach and it was actually um, not the greatest weather outside. Strong hair like always. Yeah, so not the greatest weather ever, but it managed to hit. I think like 15 PRs. I'm pretty stoked about that. The biggest thing with going out and doing rides like that is I'm not strictly focusing on climbing. I'm just pretty much having a good time. So uh, overall, it was a pretty good ride. I'm super dehydrated right now like usual, but I'm gonna go get some hydration, get some food, and then I'm actually gonna go to the post office and see what we got from a PO box. So I'll see you guys over there. One was dated 4.9, the other one was dated 5.10. I don't get to get down here a lot. Okay. Well, this is the one we got from that one. Well, alrighty folks, so I'm back. I uh, actually had to go into work to drop some stuff off. So yeah, it's Wednesday. I'm gonna be starting to do live streams on Wednesdays and Saturdays for the summer and everything like that. Long story short, we went to Target, we went to the store, and we went to the P.O. Box. I'm gonna be unboxing this bad boy on the live stream tonight. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the store. I am very excited to try these out right here. These are the uh, Nature Valley Chocolate Oat Clusters. So that's among three cereals that they already came out with. I already reviewed the um, uh, the Oat Bites for you guys and then there's another one that I have yet to review. Other than that, we have cashew milk, vanilla unsweetened. Stoked to try that one out. Then we got some Grape refreshers, icebreakers, whatever they're called. Uh, some chocolate PB2 uh, whenever I do want to keep my fats lower. And then just these other cleaners, other garbage I won't even go over right now. And then we went to the grocery store. Uh, they didn't have my meatless tenders, so I decided to go with these chicken tenders instead. The best flavored Pyrate Zero. My favorite type of bread is sweet wheat and oat bread. So essentially just like the, the brown bread with oats on top, I love this stuff. So uh, usuals after that, we have rice cakes. We have, we have vanilla extract. A ton of apples and pears. Oregano, this will be going on, of course, the pizza tonight. Then I got some veggie chips as well. These actually are really, really good. A favorite of mine right now. Brussels sprouts. I forgot, I'm gonna be trying out these tonight. These actually looked very, very good, so I decided to pick those up. Of course, like I said, guys, I'm also gonna be opening this up on a live stream tonight, so I'm very excited for it. Stay tuned for the live stream, everybody. Every live stream, everybody, everybody's tuning in. Say hello to the camera, say hello to the next vlog. So we have a lot of new viewers, it looks like. Uh, but we got RZ Fitness, we have Sam Blue, we have World Class Douchebag, uh, a lot of the regulars as well. I got a special package that I wanted to unbox for you guys. I'll be covering the 50,000 calorie cheat day after this. Don't worry guys, I know, because you guys are all about, about the food. That's why everybody watches my videos. So let's see what we got here. I got some epic stuff to show you guys in my store or my grocery store, I should say. We have garlic gold nuggets. Garlic gold nuggets, which is really, really cool. Hold on, I'm gonna ban somebody already. Really tasty. Oh my goodness, I am real, oh hell yeah. So we have a pizza cutter, finally. Ooh, it's 
Looks pretty sharp. I don't know. I don't know. The, this could be a potential Electro Recipe of the Week. How many people want to see that Electro Recipe of the Week? How many people actually like Electro Recipe of the Week? Of course, we got to try it out. Oh my god, that, that is a fucking good pizza. But I used to be a huge fan of French toast. I promise it's not pizza. French toast, guys. I'm... Alrighty, guys, so tonight we're back at it with another cereal review. Tonight we're gonna be trying out the Nature Valley Chocolate Oat Clusters, so let's do this. Well guys, here we go. Hmm, interesting one here. Not bad. So first impressions of this cereal is that it's essentially a less sweet version of Honey Bunches of Oats. Not getting a strong chocolate taste to this one, which is pretty unfortunate. But after seeing this next spoonful, I might have to retract that last statement. Statement retracted. I will say I like this cereal a lot for their little addition of these little chocolate nuggets right here. These little chocolate chunks, I should say. Very, very good. It's essentially just a less sweeter version of Honey Bunches of Oats with chocolate in it. Overall, I give it a six and a half out of 10. Everyone graduating, and I'm just getting off work like. <sighs> this is what happens when you get curious and you pull out your bottom oven drawer and you find out what's underneath. Probably really disgusting to be showing you guys this, but yeah, that is a lot of garbage. A lot of garbage. Oh look, a cute love letter I left for my ex-girlfriend. Went to the gym, love you, have a great day. Our forevers go together. Yeah, right. Hell yeah, three musketeers. That's it, man. Well guys, I put on the yellow socks and yellow shoes today. It did me good. Alrighty everybody, so it's about 6.15 right now. I'm on my way back home. It's been nice having a day off, getting some riding in. Also finally got to send out that package to the uh, giveaway winner. Shout out to you Sam Blue for uh, staying tuned and subscribing. Huge shout out to you dude. I'm actually gonna be doing a little interview tonight, everybody. So the next time you guys will see me, I will be on Skype being interviewed for a potential TV show. Should be really really cool for me uh, I really like doing stuff with TV and everything like that depending on the context of course of what's being filmed and everything so anyways I'm not gonna reveal too too much but stay tuned for that long time to see Nada how are you doing <laughs> yeah I've been a long time doing good how are you yeah I imagine imagine I think one of the reasons they thought competitive eaters is competitive eaters are almost like Professional wrestlers in the sense that you guys are all characters. You all have your personas, your yeah. like, you guys always make good, you know, there's always good personality. So I right. think that's one of the reasons. I started into competitive eating, I would say, in uh, 
three or four years ago. They, I mean, they had a food challenge and it's called the Iron Man Challenge. And I go, okay, cool. I just did my first bike race. Why not do my first food challenge? I'd seen like man versus food and all this stuff. So this guy that's like half their size just, you know, demolished that, you know, demolished the challenge and I'm picking away at their food too, just to make, you know, make fun of them. But, uh, so that's pretty much how I got started into it. Hey Rod, like what scared you the most? Uh, the scarecrows. Uh, were were huge. Uh, my my sisters used to force me to watch uh, a movie a movie called Jeepers Creepers. All right, guys. So we reached the end of the video, and I'm sure everybody's all hyped up about the next challenge or uh, you know big day of eating. I guess you can say uh, planning on doing. Right now, everybody, it's completely mind blowing to see how uh, how much my subscriber count has shot up, how much my views have shot up just from this one whole day of. Um, just from one little challenge video that I brought up, and, um, and I mean, it's it's pretty funny, but at the same time, it's also not strange, but it's just really amusing to see. And as the whole like fitness world and everything like that on YouTube continues to, to go about, and people film more of these whole like 20,000 calorie challenges, 30,000 calorie challenges, I've seen even 40,000 calorie challenges. Hell, I even put 40,000 calorie challenge in that April Fool's joke video, and that video alone, has almost 100,000, I actually think it's at 100,000 views right now. It's insane how fixated we've really become. And I, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm a part of it too. I've uh, definitely helped spur the, uh, the fixation, if you want to put it that way. But it's honestly, I don't really know if I, I, if I feel negative about it. It's pretty much leads me to the point where I really just want to reiterate the fact that this is all fun. I'm doing this simply for YouTube. And uh, guys, it's it's really just that. It's just fun. Um, I've been getting a lot of negative comments lately about uh, the whole, uh, all my challenges and just the way I've approached everything. And it's just, I think people just need to take a step back and realize that this is all for fun. It's not a big deal at all. And uh, just don't take it so seriously. Have fun. <laughs> so anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. I got a very busy week coming up. I don't think I'll hit 50,000 subscribers this week but who knows at the rate it's been going i mean yesterday i gained 540 subscribers in one day i'm lucky if i usually get like 80 or 90 in a day absolutely insane so uh i hope you guys have enjoyed the video stay tuned for the next one tonight we're gonna be trying out the halo top birthday cake ice cream pretty much just pure curiosity in the world of um overpriced diet food well, all right, guys, let's give it a shot. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Uh